Santa. A local couple's life will never be the same. Two years ago today, their little boy died in a horrific fall. Nico, 23 months old, was on vacation with his mom and dad at Puerto Vallarta, Mexico's Hyatt Ziva Hotel when he fell to his death from the ninth floor. Court documents show a glass window pane was missing. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes spoke with the grieving family. She joins us live now with details of their lawsuit against Hyatt. Kirsten, tough story. Hey there, Marcella. Okay, so the lawsuit says little Nico didn't live to see his second birthday after he fell from an unprotected floor level window that was missing its pain. Little Nico hit a concrete deck nine stories below. His parents are now suing Ho Hyatt Hotel, saying that there should be some type of safety measures in place so that the loss that they are grieving, no other family has to suffer through. It was the best thing that ever happened to me, the sweetest boy ever. You never get over it. And we still have his bedroom. James Carter and Anastasia Dubashina are now suing Hyatt Hotels after they say their 20-month-old son, Nico, fell nine stories to his death at Hyatt Ziva, Puerto Vallarta. Nico was standing right in front of me, and I, you couldn't see that there was a missing glass panel. And he, I mean, he fell right in front of me. I watched my son die nine stories. I've heard this scream by my husband. I've never heard anything like that before. The lawsuit says Hyatt failed to use reasonable care to keep the hotel in a safe condition, which the complaint alleges would have prevented Nico's death. We um, booked a, our hotel uh, to stay at a Hyatt. We, we booked a Hyatt because of the, the, we thought there'd be some safety standards there, you know, and they preach and, and promote, you know, um, family-friendly, safety-oriented hotel. And in, in what world? Can a hotel have a glass pane missing on a ninth floor of a high rise hotel? Robert Francavia is representing Nico's mom and dad. That's their safety. Rather than staying at a fly by night type place, they stayed at a hotel that they thought paid full time and attention to safety, and sadly, that wasn't the case. On the travel section of its website, the U.S. State Department says U.S. citizens traveling to and residing in Mexico should not expect public health and safety standards like those in the United States. As James and Anastasia continue to fight for justice for their son, they continue to grieve the beautiful boy who brought so much love and light into their world. Today's the anniversary, two year anniversary of his death and um, it's just I mean, we just came from the, the cemetery before we got here, but it's, it's, it's awful. He was kind, loving, selfless child, and he brought so much joy into my life and my husband's life as well. We reached out to Hyatt Hotels for comment on this story and still have not heard back. Nico's parents have filed a federal wrongful death lawsuit on his behalf. The attorneys we talked to today say cases like this could take years to resolve. Nico's parents say they will wait for however long it takes. Reporting for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you. Kirsten, just a, a really tragic and heartbreaking story. Uh, what are the chances that this case ends up being heard by a jury, going to trial? Okay, so statistically, cases like these end up resolving themselves before they go before a jury, but the attorney is representing Nico's family say that they are preparing for a trial. Marcella? Thanks, Kirsten. And just a reminder for everyone, when you're traveling, uh, you can't be too careful. We want to thank Nico's parents for sharing their story with us. Thanks, Kirsten.